In this question, we are given that the fourth term of an arithmetic sequence is uh, negative 20. Eighth term is given as negative 10. And we have to determine the hundredth term. So let's see how to determine this hundredth term. Uh, first, uh, I write down this formula of the nth term of the arithmetic sequence, which is uh, given by a n. And this equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d, where this a1 represents the first term. Uh, D represents the common difference and N represents the number where uh, A N represents the nth term. So first, uh, let's write down the formula for fourth term. So we have to plug in N equal to 4 into this uh, formula to get the fourth term. So therefore, I write uh, A4 and this equals uh, A1 plus uh, plug in N equal to 4. So we get uh, 4 minus 1 times D. And this is given as negative 20. So I write down this equals negative 20. Now let's simplify this uh, equation. That is uh, on this side we have uh, a1 plus uh, 4 minus 1 is 3. So 3 times of d is 3d. And this equals uh, negative 20. So let's consider this equation as uh, equation number 1. And now let's write down the formula for uh, eighth term using this uh, nth term formula. So we have to plug in n equals uh, 8. So we get uh, a8 and this equals uh, a1 that is the first term plus uh, n minus 1 which is uh, 8 minus 1 times uh, d and this equals uh, negative 10. Let's simplify this. So we get uh, a1 plus uh, 8 minus 1 is 7 and 7 times of d is 70 and this equals uh, negative 10. Let's consider this as uh, equation number 2. Now, when we look at equation number 1 and 2, uh, we have a system of equations in two variables, that is uh, a1 and uh, d. We can determine these values of a1 and d by elimination or uh, substitution method. So, first, uh, I'm going to do this uh, operation, that is, uh, take this equation 2 and uh, subtract uh, 1. So, when we do that, uh, we have to do this uh, subtraction on both sides of the equation. So first, uh, I put the left side uh, of the equation number 2, which is uh, a1 plus 7d. And uh, this is uh, minus the left side of the first equation, that is uh, a1 plus uh, 3d. And this equals, now I do the subtraction of the right side terms. Uh, first, I put the right side term of the equation number 2 which is uh, negative 10 and then uh, I put uh, minus of uh, minus 20. This is the right side number in the equation number 1. Let's simplify this. So here we get uh, a1 plus uh, 70. I distribute this negative into the terms inside the bracket. So the first term becomes uh, negative a1 and uh, it becomes uh, negative times of 3d. And this equals, so we have a negative 10. This two negative will become uh, positive. So this becomes a positive 20. Now we see that uh, a1 we have and also negative a1. So these two terms will get cancelled. And 7d minus 3d and this equals uh, 4d. So I write uh, 4d on the left side. And this equals uh, negative 10 plus 20 equals uh, 10. Now we divide both sides by 4 so that uh, we solve for d. And so d equals uh, 10 fourth, and this equals, uh, we can put it in simple uh, fraction, that is uh, 5 and half. I'm sorry, it is uh, 5 by 2. Otherwise, we say 5 halves. So this is the value of d. We found uh, d equals uh, 5 by 2. Now, using this value of d, we have to determine the uh, value of a1. We can plug it into one equation or two equation. I'm going to plug it into equation number one. So let me copy the equation number one, which is uh, a1 plus uh, 3d. And this equals negative 20. Now let me plug in d equal to 5 by 2 in this equation. So we get uh, a1 plus uh, 3 times of uh, 5 by 2. And this equals uh, negative 20. So this implies uh, a1 plus we can multiply this numerators. 3 times 5 is uh, 15 and the denominator is 2. 
and this equals uh, negative 20 and so we can solve for a1 by subtracting 15 by 2 from both sides so when we do that we get uh, negative 20 negative 15 by 2 now let's uh, solve this uh, fraction we have to uh, multiply this uh, negative 20 by 2 and divide by 20 that is uh, so that we can make it as a common denominator we multiply by 2 and divide by 2 and so when we do that uh, we get uh, negative 20 times 2 is uh, negative 40 and 1 times 2 is 2 so this equals uh, I can write this as negative 40 over 2 and uh, negative 15 over 2 now we have the common denominator 2 so therefore this equals a1 equals we can uh, simply add the numerator numbers that is negative 40 negative 15 this is over 2 and so this equals uh, negative 40 negative 15 is uh, negative 55 over 2 and so we see that uh, a1 equals uh, negative 55 over 2 or we can also write down its uh, decimal equivalent which is uh, negative 27.5 so we found that uh, the first term of this arithmetic sequence equals negative 27.5 and we will also write down the decimal equivalent of d we already found that uh, d equals uh, 5 by 2 let's write down its uh, decimal equivalent this uh, 5 by 2 and this equals uh, 2.5 so we see that the common difference d equals uh, 2.5 and using this uh, two information, we can find the hundredth term. So let's find the hundredth term using the nth term formula. That is, uh, we know that the nth term formula equals a n equals uh, a one plus uh, n minus one times uh, d. And uh, since we want to find the hundredth term, we should uh, plug in n equal to hundred into this uh, formula also we plug in the values of a1 as well as d so let's do that so therefore we get uh, a 100 this is uh, 100 the term equals a1 equals negative 27.5 so i replace a1 by negative 27.5 plus we then have n minus 1 that is n equals 100 here so it is uh, 100 minus 1 times the difference is uh, 2.5 so we can evaluate this this equals negative 27.5 plus 100 minus 1 is 99 and then multiplied with 2.5 so we can multiply these two quantities first that is 99 times 2.5 using calculator and i get 247.5 so i put the first term that is negative 27.5 and uh, 247.5 so this is the uh, number which is obtained when you multiply these two numbers now we have to add these two numbers that is 247.5 with the negative 27.5 or basically you do the subtraction 247.5 minus uh, 27.5 and so when we do that we get uh, 220 therefore 220 is the 100th term.